<laughs> What's up, you guys? My name is Brandon Cook. I'm here with Trey Iverson. How about you, boy? What's good, y'all? So, the hairstyle you've all been wanting to know how to do is right here. We about to do it. We got the hairstylist. I'm about to introduce you to her. And let's go. Hello, I'm Nay. Brains by Nay on Instagram. Follow her. She does dope work. So, what will we be using today? Today, we'll be using the Orange Shine Jam it's for extra hold. Um, we will use two big clips, one rat tail comb, and one little handy dandy rubber band. Let's get it. Alrighty, first what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the bun out. Um, as you can see here, Trey's hair is pretty long. Um, now your hair doesn't necessarily have to be to this length exactly. As long as your hair is long enough to braid, that's what's gonna matter. Now also notice that his hair is very straight. Now you can either straighten your hair or comb it out or brush it out so it's not as uh, curly. All right, now notice the haircut that we have here. Very similar to what I did with my top knot bun tutorial. Either you can have a fade on the side or you can, like an undercut style. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the rat tail comb. Use the end of that comb to create a part within the hair. So she uses the shine jam over the part. It helps her get her part exactly straight through the middle. As you can see, she's guiding the rat tail comb through the part that she's made so it can be very crisp and clean. Now next, she uses the clips, as she mentioned earlier. You grab one side of the hair, clip it down so that way it's not in your way when braiding. You wanna mold the hair down with the shine jam. Now you can comb it or brush it, but she's deciding to comb it instead of brushing it so it can be evenly distributed. Now here comes the kind of complicated part. You grab a piece of hair and divide it into three strands. Once you have those three strands, you do a cornrow braiding technique or just a uh, three strand braid technique. All right, so the basic idea of braiding here is you start with three sections of hair and first you can cross the left section of hair over the center section. So it goes between the center section and the right section. Next, cross the right section over what is currently the center section. So it goes between the center section and the left section. Then you go again by crossing the left section of hair over what is the center section. So it goes between the center section and the right section. Then again, cross the right section over what is currently the center section. So it goes between the center section and the left section. And also pulling hair as you go. So if you're not used to braiding at all, um, it might be a good practice to take three strings or uh, pieces of ribbon or something of different colors and tie them all together at one end and practice this braiding technique um, until you get a good idea of what you're doing. The trick here is keeping the sections separate from each other and keeping even uh, tension on each of the sections so that the braid is nice and tight. Continue braiding by each time adding a little more hair to the middle strand and repeat this until you've run out of hair to add. Well, in this case, you're gonna make a bun. So it may be really tricky at first, but once you get used to it, you'll be a pro. That's the best way I can explain it right now. Um, if you have a difficulty understanding, then I will contact someone that you know closely to you that knows how to braid. 
Now once you get towards the back of the head, now notice that he has lots of hair left over. I didn't really um, in, my, in my hairstyle. So as you can see right now, we're about to use this hair tie and we're going to basically create somewhat of a ponytail, basically just to close off the end of this braid. Make sure your part is in the middle still, and the uh, and the shining jam is keeping it keeping it nice and clean looking. And you start on the other side again, starting with three strands, braiding, going backwards, pulling hair as you go. And you want this to somewhat either be in the center of the hair, not exactly on the outside, and not exactly too close on the inside. And try to make this a wide braid if you can. It can start thin in the front, but you can make it wide going towards the back. the head there you will bring the two pieces together and you will create a bun and you will have a fancy dope hairstyle. What's going on everybody? It's Iverson Trollinger. If you know me, I go by Trey. Fashion designer from Durham, North Carolina, born and raised, and self-taught with the craft. You can follow me on IversonChallenger.com, Iverson Challenger on Instagram, Iverson Challenger on Facebook. Huge shout out and thank you to the bro Brandon. Follow him, subscribe, everything you need in one place. And we've got this dope hair tutorial for you. So just make sure you check that out and subscribe. All right, you guys, now that's a wrap. If you like what you saw today, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my boy Trey. Hey, check out the, check out the, check the brain, check the steezy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's been a while since I posted a hair video. I've reached my goal in helping people around the world with hair like ours. If you learned something new today, share this video with someone who you know can do a cool hairstyle. Don't be confined to what society tells you how to be. 